so the power supply I was using, the original one, turns out it was dead. Garbage. I didn't even know it was dead, it was just on the shelf in the back and I thought oh, I'll use that. So now I'm on another one. I'm going to turn this one and plug this one in. The motor of this, the fan on it was absolutely beat, it was just like, Aah! it's like, oh right. So took a fan out of an old power supply, soldered it into the new one, now it's fairly quiet. I've got things on, I need to do some kind of recovery thing, I don't know what the is going on with this, but yes, just need to reinstall the windows and uh, crack on from there. gonna be there and uh, yeah let's show you what it looks like when it's actually on the base still got to build the little recess so I'm gonna do that next so that's the recess tray made for the keyboard as you can see Keyboard slots in there perfectly, and that'll be recessed into that. We should line it up approximately, and it'll look a little bit something like that. Put in there. <laughs> Definitely getting closer to finishing this build. With the tray that I made, the keyboard sitting, a couple of little extra vent holes, so. Attach that extra fan there to it because that's just popping around at the minute. That's supposed to be on that back of the case. But I'm going to screw it to one part there so the two like holes for the uh, fan to go through. That sits in there nice and flush. The only problem with this that I have at the minute is that CPU cooler. So when I've ordered that new CPU cooler, it will sit nicely in there, uh, nice and low. I'll be able to connect up the graphics card and the extension cable that I've got. and that will sit in there perfectly. Now it's not sitting flush in there at the minute because of the CPU cooler hits the corner of the inside there. So once it's lowered, it should all fit, theoretically, I hope. I should be able to shave off a couple of mils here, mils there, but yeah, that's the build so far. <laughs> 